Hey there, Sharon Horn Nelson here. Welcome to today 150 of our Get Your Goals Annual Challenge. We're doing one thing every day this year to get what we want. And in order to add some framing to this, we're using the life framework, which is a nine part. I use a nine part life framework. A lot of people use four, five, six, three, whatever works for you. But this is one I learned from Jim Rohn and Tony Robbins back in when Tony Robbins was just getting started. He was mentored by Jim Rohn. He worked with Jim Rohn and Jim Rohn was one of my early mentors. And then I, I rolled into following Tony Robbins for a long time. He's still follow him, pop in periodically, uh, not so much anymore, but periodically a couple times a year for sure. I, I touch base and, and check in, but I learned a seven part life framework from them. And then I added in 2021, following the pandemic, two more life framing for areas, communication and contribution. But prior to that, it was physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, financial relationships and contribution. And I have set my annual goals and my long-term lifeline, legacy, lifetime legacy goals using this framework. And I've used this framework for, for literally decades now, since the late 1980s. And I've used it because it allows me to take some of the chaos out of my world and add a little bit of structure. And I don't know about you, but my life is ups and downs and ups and downs. There's always things happening. Some things we plan, some things we don't, and we have to be able to respond to them in a way that's best for us. And that's part of what this challenge is all about. Because when we set goals and we work toward those goals, we get what we want. And isn't that why we're here is to experience life as only we can and to achieve and get what we want. Well, today we're talking about step seven. You can see I still haven't made my graphic. Or step six, excuse me, step six of the physical goals process. Each month, we're going to have the physical goals process, the mental goals process, the spiritual goals process, the emotional goals process. Those are the ones we've covered already. And guess what? It's the same process. We're just applying it specifically toward a goal in the area or aspect of our life that we're working on. So this month, it's physical. And my physical goal is to exercise every day for at least an hour between now and the end of the year, right? So far, I'm doing good, by the way, just a little check-in and to hold myself accountable, which is what today is all about. It's about resources, what resources can help us to achieve our goal, because if we have more resources at our fingertips, it's a lot easier to achieve our goals and objectives. What support do we need to achieve those goal, this goal? And then what accountability do we need to achieve this goal? Uh, and I, I already did today's action item. Today's action item is just to think about what resources, support, and accountability do I have? What would I like to have? And how can I go about getting those into my life to make achieving my goal easier? So for example, me, I said, I can read books. I can get coaches. I can find mentors for resources. I can uh, go to friends and family. I can do online I can find online information to make it easier. And resources are, how can I get the information and the, the tools I need in order to achieve my goal? It's pretty easy to exercise every hour for a day. I already have an exercise bike. I already have legs so I can go out and walk every day. And there's a lot of physical activities and exercises we can do without having to have a whole lot of equipment. I've got a yoga mat. I've got some exercise bands. I've got some of those um, exercise ropey things. So... Even if I can't get out of the house because it looks like it's raining today, so my morning walk's out of the question, uh, I guess I could put on a raincoat. See, making excuses already. Uh, but what resources will make it easier? And do I have those? And how can I go about getting them if I didn't have them? For example, I didn't have an exercise bike for a while, and then I figured out a way to get an exercise bike. So uh, things like that. How can I make achieving my goal actually super easy and automatic? Well, what kind of support do I need? Well, there are so many online communities, so many groups of like-minded people available now with the internet and social media. There's really no excuse to think that we have to go it alone anymore. Uh, we can get support by taking a class or having a teacher or coach or mentor in that area. Friends and family again, again, friends and family. Some of our friends and family members are really, really supportive of our goals. Others, not so much. And remember, if they're not supportive of your goal, it's not because they don't think that you can't do it. It's that they don't want to have to examine their life and realize that if you can do it, maybe that means they could do it too. That's what I found out the first time I said I was going to exercise for a year. My family told me I was absolutely nuts and crazy. And based on my past experience, what they had observed, they were absolutely right to think that way and doubt that I would do it. Because I was pretty much a non-exerciser for... 50 years before my sudden cardiac arrest. I mean, I had bouts of taking care of myself and exercise, but for the most part, no, not intentional exercise. Once I got out of, uh, you know, competitive sports and things, it, it wasn't even 
I, I just didn't do things every day. So it was right of them to not believe me, but it was really fun and motivating to show them, guess what? You say I can't do something, that just guarantees I'm gonna do it. Why? Because of accountability, which is the last part of this particular step in the process. Number one, we have to be accountable to ourselves. We have to get to the point where when we say we're gonna do something, it doesn't matter if we make excuses to everybody else and anybody else. We always know if we're making an excuse to ourselves. We might not admit it, like I just made one earlier about the rain. Uh, we, we know, and so in order to have integrity, the first place to start is having personal integrity. And if we say we're gonna do something, we're gonna do it. Commit to ourselves and actually do the things we say we're gonna do. Guess what? If you doubt that you're gonna do it, don't commit to it. Don't say you're gonna do it. So number one, be accountable to yourself. You might wanna find an accountability partner or someone else that helps to motivate you and does it right along with you. Uh, in the past, I've had accountability partners for different projects and different things. <clears throat> Not because I wasn't gonna do it for myself, but because I wanted that added help and support and resource to motivate me and drive me when it gets hard. Sometimes things are hard. Some days it is harder than others to exercise for an hour every day. Why? Because I've got arthritis. I'm getting older. I've got all kinds of ailments that it hurts to a certain point, then it, then it, ta ta then it tapers off, and then it gets better. But you have to be willing to work up to that hump in order to have it get better. So accountability, we could have ourselves, our friends and family again, uh, accountability partners, coaches, mentors, um, challenges. I've got this online challenge, so I have to be accountable to you. I can't say go out and do something every day and then not do it. That would be ludicrous. It's like telling your kids to do something and then you demonstrate just the opposite. It never, ever, ever worked. So we have to do what we say we're going to do. So action item today, think about the resources, the support and the accountability you have and what you would like to have and build on what you've got right now and to help you achieve the goal that you've set for yourself. Any questions, hit me up. There's a good write up about this in guide 17 or there will be when I post it this morning uh, about resources, accountability and uh, support. And there's also some examples of different resources, support and accountability goals you could set in the area of physical well-being and health. Any questions, ask. Otherwise, I will be with you tomorrow. Have a fantastic day.